Hi everyone. Today's pattern is going to be a classic Silver Invicta with a Blue Jay throat. The materials are going to be Golden Pheasant Crest for the tail, Blue Jay for the throat, Hen Pheasant Centre Tail for the wing, some Jungle Cock Cheeks, Silver Myla for the body, and Silver wire for the rib. And we're going to be finishing the fly off with UV resin from Deer Creek. And this is the fine. So the first thing we do, place the hook in the vise. And so. <clears throat> and the hook I'm using is partridge of red itch and it's the patriot range and it's a sport wet and this one's a size 8 it's for the lakes or maybe sea trout <clears throat> the silk i'm going to be using is brown and this is a, a benici 14 0 and the first thing we do is we connect on about a quarter of the way down the shank half a dozen turns or more just to secure it trim it away and move the silk up tight to the eye. Roll the hook upside down in the vise. Take our blue jay. Take a quarter inch. Pinch it off. Hold it around our fingers. Place it on underneath. And this is going to create in a later stage our throat. Okay, And I'll explain to you while I'm doing it a little bit later on. So when we got that in, make sure this position nice and neatly as so. And then working down the hook, lash the waist nice and neatly. Take the hook down to the tail position. Pick up the golden pheasant crest. Run it through our lips just to give it a bit of saliva to bring it together. Place it on top of the hook, the two turns, just to hold it secure, and then pull it through the silk to get the desired length and the desired position of the tail. A little bit more. And that's looking pretty good. Once you've got the position you want, just secure it. Work up the body nice and neatly. And keep it nice and neat, <coughs> excuse me, because we're actually going to be creating a body out of silver mila and any lumps and bumps it'll show up so we take our silk now up to three quarters of the way up the shank take our silver rib silver wire catch it in on the side of the hook and tie it down to the base of the tail and really secure it Got a couple of turns of silk there to make it nice and tight <clears throat> Stop. Pick up a silver miler. Catch it in the base of the tail. And just work the silk up to catch it in. Nice and neat. To about where the wire is. Which is a quarter of the way down. <clears throat> when we're at that point, create a body with overlapping turns of the mailer. Just work up the body. Nice and neat. Maybe one more just to finish it there. Put that back. That's it. That'll do. Cross the silk underneath the mailer. Get a turn around. And then two or three nice tight turns over the secure. Trim away. And now we are ready for our hackle, which I didn't, which I should have mentioned earlier. We're going to be using two hackle, two feathers for this. Two gingers, one from an Indian cape and one from a saddle. Now the one from the saddle is going to be a palmer. Trim it away. Take a few fibers to make a tying base. Catch it in. 
nice and steady. Okay, but two turns at the head, and then we work down the body with slight open turns. Uh, so right tight to the tail. And when we get to the tail, cross over with our rib to trap it in. And then with open turns, we create our rib. And this traps our feather in. And this type of hackle is called a palmer. That's the fibers. Keep it nice and neat. Up we go. Pull the waist away. One more turn. And trap the rib in. Hold the fly. And just worry the rib away. Don't cut it with the scissors because it makes it sharp, it gives you a sharp point and it makes it awkward to tie. Right, put your throat out of the way, just trim it back a little bit. Take a second hackle, trim the waist away. We just want these nice sharp edges. Tie your base, catch it in. Like so, keep it nice and neat. Hackle players. I'll give two turns. What this does is it gives it a shoulder hackle. It um, it just makes it look thicker. As you can see, two turns. Catch it in, three or four turns, pull it away with a sharp touch, and fold it back. So, take your silk up to the eye, roll the hook around, <coughs> and now what we do to create the sword hackle, just pull it back, crease it. Crease it again and hold it. And now a few turns of silk. Catch any fibers that are straying. And there we are. Turn the hook to make sure it's nice and neat. And there's a sword tackle. Now, if we didn't do it like this, what you'd have to do, <coughs> you'd have to pluck some of the feather off, roll the hook around, tie it in. And then trim the head, the rough edges away. Well, it's just messy, and it's an absolute nuisance. So doing this way, it's clean, it's neat, and it's fast. Right. A wing, hen feathers and centre tail. Take an inch, put it aside. Take another, roughly inch, same thing. Put it aside, put the two together, tip to tip, and just roll them. Roll them around till they make a nice wing shape. As so. Run it through your lips, just to get a little bit of slider, and it makes it look like that. Okay. Now when at this position, just fold the hackle around, make a little gap, place the wing on, as so, catch it, pinch a loop, two, don't worry, we've got the fibres poking out, the hackle will sort those out. Have a little look, a little bit of saliva for your fingers. Uh, it's looking okay. I'm sure it's sitting all right. Yeah. Hold it firmly in your hands for another two turns on and trim the waist away with your very, very sharp scissors. Keep hold of the ring. Trim away. Trim away. Trim away. Don't leave go of the ring. When we're there, now we create a neat head. Really, really tight turns to lock the fibers in. 
come up to the base of the head. There we are. Push it down. That's looking pretty good. And we finish the fly with our jungle cock cheeks. Take one. Place on the side of the hook. Or side of the wing rather. One, two turns. That's good. And do exactly the same the other side. Down now, set it tidy. Place it on, hold it with your thumb. One, two. Uh, that's not bad, I think we'll go for that. Tie down to the eye. Push the ends back. Pull them back, get rid of a bit of flesh. And now we create a nice neat head. And what this does, it locks the jungle in so it'll never pull out. Trim the waist away. Nice and neat. Put in with the scissors, trim it. Get the saliva between your fingers, your finger and thumb. Make it look nice and neat. Slick it, as they called. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right, now to finish it, <coughs> we take our deer creek, and this is, the, like I said, the fine, and we just spot on the head. You don't need a lot of this. It's got really, really good coverage. Just push it around. And so, make sure the whole of the head is covered. Okay, that looks good. Leave it settle. Don't be in a rush. Just leave it settle. Take a dummy needle, clean the eye out. When you're happy with it, hit it with a torch. Alright, so turn it around, turn it around. I do tend to uh, use the torch a little bit too long. I think it's just me, to be honest, and I'll be in uh, belt and braces to make sure that the, the resin has really gone off. But 10 to 15 seconds, and it's hard. Okay. Right. A little bit more saliva, just to move it around. And there we are. A silver Victor. With, which I call a shuttlecock throat, because of the way I tied it in. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.